Right, long time no see. You know, it's the damnedest thing. I've been fiddling around with this for like a half hour now, trying to figure out what was wrong with my graphics, and uh, turns out I just needed to change OBS to captured windowed mode instead of captured game mode. We're so happy to have you here at St. Genesius. Did you know he's the patron saint of epileptics? The church isn't nearly as old as it looks. We had some rebuilding to do after the bombings. Oh, sometimes I forget where to stop history and just jump ahead to the present. And that's our organist, Mr. Shrapnel. Mm. Did you know he's dead? But Beethoven was too in the end. Oh, look at those lovely prizes. With that medal, you'll look as shiny as a brand new penny. We've got quite a crowd today. I don't know why they dress like that. What do they do if it itches? What do they do if it itches? You love me. The itch is part of the kink. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so grateful to be able to present to you our celebrity caller, the famous singer, Mr. Nicholas Lightbear. I am a golden car. Alright, let's see if we can make this glitch again. I live on your love. Live my love, babies. Are you ready to follow instructions? Okay. Now, if I say Simon says do something, then you have to do it or you're out. But if I don't say Simon says and you do it, you're out. Uh, that's right, and you get zapped. Are you ready, Hamlin Village? Simon says, Monopod. Simon says, Run in place. We're having fun already. Simon says, Twist in the wind. Get dizzy. Say Simon says. Yeah, I like so. You guys are fantastic. I love you. Do you love me? Love me, babies. That's all there is. Simon says. Who's a good dog? Simon says. Show me your love. Simon says, get naked. Simon says. Weakest link, Simon goodbye. Says, one hand clapping. Simon says, go nowhere fast. Simon says, keep your hair on. Simon says, you're a pogo. Do the twist. This is almost uh, too much fun. Simon says, scratch your feet. Simon says, hips up. Which way are you going? Sloppy work, constable. It's not supposed to spark like that, is it? That's sure it is. the ones on the floor. How do I get out of here, though? I've got to turn it off somehow. Yeah, I can turn it off. There must be a switch. Turn what off? Uh, 
Oh, the back door, eh? I took my joy. At least I'm not like uh, crashing off of here. Oh, I'm a good boy. Do join us for tea and biscuits as we bid farewell to our Vicar, who's gone on holiday in anticipation of his retirement. Hmm. A bunch of skill points here. Choke out taller enemies. What else can I do? Buster. Um, you can't go wrong with more health, can you? Ten for that. Yeah, I'd say that's a good plan. Oh, memory. Is that what's smoking and come in the bedroom? Okay. Are you wearing clothes? Yes. Percy, just a shirt is not clothes. Just a shirt is not clothes? I'm in trouble. For the poor? I think not. that metal was where they say it was you walked right by it is he dead yes he is joy pill Maybe this episode we can actually fix that bridge. There's a joy detector that way, so we should probably go this way. Like that. And put on our normal clothes. Okay, are we uh, just trapped in here or what? These people are all on vacation, that's what you call it. When you go on vacation, you they bury you in the ground and put a big stone slab over your head. Seriously, is there like a gate here or what? That's...
Or maybe it uh, turned it off when we turned off the uh, electricity. Yeah, she, uh, old lady, uh, checked out there, I guess. I'm still good. Fix the bridge. Where are we going here? Uh, fix the bridge, fix the bridge. It's up there, right? Oh, we can actually run now. Oh, it doesn't kill you. <laughs> if you're going to instill a fascist government, you could at least set up a training regime so people are in shape. convince the nice bobbies to let me fix their bridge. Of course you will. Just like that. There you are. Lovely day for it. Electrical insulation garb. Do we have that? They're not wearing those. Two lit platforms. Oh, the other one there. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy! You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Step on three lit platforms. Ha 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 ha! I didn't say Simon says. Now, Simon says. Step on three lit platforms. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. 
joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Now, for the last challenge, Simon says, step on all the lit platforms. That bridge to the parade, there's just one more bridge, and then I'm in the parade. And one more bridge after that, and I'm finally out of Wellington Wells. I do love a parade. What do we have to do here? We've got to find the hatch. Do that. Well, we uh, finally fixed the bridge, so if nothing else happens here, we have that show for the least. That guy's a doctor, isn't he? Those are the guys that can smell you if you're not on joy. Wow, that's like all the way over there. Um, I think I'll find that hatch first. That seems like the better idea because it'll let you uh, fast travel. Save a bit for the next minute. Probably drink something, that's why I'm running out of stamina so fast. Um, pure water. There's like nowhere to hide here. Clear off your rock. So, um, what do you do when you're, like, riding off a crash? What would Jim Morrison do in this situation? I think if we take like one more joy, it's gonna like fry your brain or something, won't it? Get memory loss and all that jazz.
I was kind of surprised there's actually use for rotten food. You can use it to make your uh, medicine. And then you also provide uniforms, and that's all I can remember. So, how could I have even won? Is this whole area like a clone of the other side of the bridge, I wonder? Oh, that smells awful. Wear your mask, alright. Apparently That's there's fatal. COVID down here, so we have to wear a mask. I think you should excuse yourself. <laughs> well, now in just a few weeks all this gas should just kind of waft out of here. Bombings, I thought we all know when to put on our gas mask. Do you like clean air, sir? Oh, yes, I'm a big fan. <laughs> Come on, people, have a sense of humor. Good. I can come back here with the minimum of fuss. Clean air is overrated. Who's this? Dicky Bow. here empty syringe take off our mask now I guess can we um, temperature set black powder Duct tape. What, uh. I didn't make that drug that lets you, uh. fool the doctors. And you want to that crash mojo. Okay, you need vinegar and piatomizer. We need chlorine. How do you get chlorine? Apparently it lets you smell like a doctor. What do doctors smell like? They smell like, uh, I don't know, old hospitals and cold steel, don't they? What's that? Eddie goes down here.
What? What do I do? Who's that? It is now time for a mandatory employee rescue. Please exit the vehicle immediately. She's tripping. This woman is sick. What do you think you're doing? Don't you want her to die? What did I inject her with? My God. I nearly had a heart attack, I think. Oh, goodness. Why is everything so grey? I feel so... sad. Thank God you've recovered. Here. Take some joy. Uh, I think the joy is what set me off. The moment I took it this time, I started to shake. Well, you can't just stop taking joy. You want to become a downer? I can't. Something's gone wrong with me. I can't tolerate it anymore. Look at her eyes. She's completely off her joy. Miss Minturn, you simply must take your joy. We insist. Yes, of course. I shall. Just let me catch my breath. It's like the joy just I'll let you alone. broke something in my mind. Or was it bad joy? It seems like there's been a lot of bad joy lately. I wonder if that's why there are so many downers these days. Or did I just never notice? I demand quality from my joy. Someone can play silly buggers. Someone needs a nap. They put her on vacation. She just hit me by accident. What was that? That's not nice. Uh, Why is that a bang me as well? You're only making it harder on yourself. What was that? Healing bomb, that's what I want. You found me later. <laughs> well, no, wet blanket. There they are. Stop them. You Stop them. You can take so your <laughs> joy in the Eyes right on my tail. I swear, these people like spaz out here for everything. I didn't kill her, you idiots did. I gotta say, I gotta plead the fifth on this one. What I gotta do? I'll go see Sally, see if I can get some tail here. Why is he still in combat mode?
Don't tell me this is glitched again. We can always count on Rick the stunt duck if things get really bad. I'll give you a right good thrashing, I will. I'm stuck in combat mode. Is that how it's going to be then? Um, maybe if you put your fists down, people will stop trying to threaten you. Slice of pie, a yam. Oh boy, we're all set. Well, it's time to sneak off to the cinema. I wonder what's playing. Hey, don't catch the guilty bugger! Right there! Right! There! Lord blood on his hands! <laughs> ah! We got a down here! Have a week! I won't have it! I didn't know he was that close behind me and my uh, finger on the E key instead of the W key. We're going to beat the Joy Raid right into you. This is like what Antifa says all police are. I feel like a ghost spray paint a A cab on all the walls here. All constables are bastards. This is burning to be all bobbies are bastards. When was the last time someone actually drove a car here? I mean, really. I'm trespassing? What? Sally's. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Right as rain, sir. Right as rain. I want you to have this. Well, that's dreadful decent of you. Now try not to fuck this up. We need a letter of transit. And an old friend. 
Oh, Sally. Sally? Sal? Sally who? Arthur! Oh. Come to have a go at me again. I used to think about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But, um, being a complete arse was sort of improvising there. Look, this is not a spectacular time. You said you know General Bing. Yeah, he's a client, a pharmaceutical client. I haven't had sex with anyone in 10 years, and if I did, it wouldn't be with that man. Good. Did you really come here for a letter of transit? Or did you just need an um, excuse? Well, I, uh, sort of do need the letter of transit. Oh, Arthur. If you're really gonna do something spectacularly stupid, these might come in handy. Uh, thanks. They make your pupils look teeny tiny, just like Joey does, but they have utterly no effect. About the letter. Could you do something for me? Uh, of course. What? I need a bottle of cod liver oil. Look, I'd really like one. Cod liver oil? Why on earth would you want cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with. I wish I could remember her. It's good for but your you know, uh, digestion. Joey fucks up your memories. Why? Why would you want to remember your mum? If it's too much to ask. Well, I was kind of hoping for absolutely I will ask my friend the general for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. Uh, I'm being an arse again, aren't I? I'll get it for you. The letter. I'm not crazy, but I am always a little extra complicated. complicated. He used to understand. I'll, I'll get it for you. I mean, I'll try. You are always the best of the lot. I've missed you so. I really should go. You, you don't have to. I really really have to. Arthur. Thanks. I'll just go. Oh, I meant to say. Cod liver oil. Dr. Verloc has some at the labs on us class. Keeps a whole private stash of rare ingredients. I'm sort of persona non grata there. I see I'm the competition. Look, be careful. Cod liver oil. That's like the cure-all for uh, if you're over 80. Public works, what's going on there? Lovely day, Brit. as rain sir bright as rain how are they going to drink with the masks on what's going on here um repair all the broken parts See, that sounds useful. I hope. 
hope you like this sort of thing. Would you like this? I don't have a jimmy bar, what? And if I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. Oh, they're lost, I guess. There, we're all better now. What's our stream looking like here? Mm -hmm. 42 minutes. a horse-drawn cart there in the middle of the road. What? Impenetrable shutters. It is the peak of uh, shutter technology. Wellington Underground. Sounds like the name of a, a British punk band. You can take your joy in So nom 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 there. Hope we get some uh, chlorine to make that uh, drug that lets you hide from doctors here as well. bread yeah you get bread gets kind of funny they say you're not supposed to put it in the fridge because it'll ruin it but Lawrence's house he was the hero of Ramsgate wasn't he really yeah we last left the town of Hammond filled with rats horrible rats eating them I used to put my bread in the fridge or else it would get moldy when I uh, 
something by myself. What's going on at his house, you say? Slice of pie on the windowsill, the old standby. Veterans of the Great War. Can I not go in because it's night? Did you change the door code? No. Never mind. You probably don't know how. Are you guessing if it's porridge? No. I'm turning the alarm system back on, which someone left off. You want some downer to walk in and take all our reserves? Why don't you tell the whole bloody neighborhood we've got reserves? Oh, yes. You must tell me about your wonderful reserves. Some reserves. Your turn, you know. Is your dad? It's hardly my fault, is it? I made the porridge. The least you can do is bring it up to him. It wasn't my idea for him to live with us. As I recall, you wanted him to move out. It was a decent thing for him to do. Make way for the new generation. How can they talk about him like that? He was a war hero in two wars. Bet they didn't even fight. What lovely people. Remind me never to have kids. Well, it's not terribly likely anyway, is it? You need testicles to have kids. Uh oh. Don't mind me, I'm just uh, breaking your house. Nothing serious. Sorry to bother. You knew too much, Ned. I had to uh, throw you out there. For the ceremony, funeral notes for Prince Undertaker. Please take extra care with seating arrangements. All the deceased relatives insist that they be seated in the front row so as to ensure the deceased body is not buried with anything of material value. Ashes to ashes, his daughter says. The Bible doesn't say anything about being buried with gold watches. However, most of our family members are not speaking to one another and refuse to be seated together. We must manage somehow. Perhaps arrange the chairs in a large circle, plenty of space in between, so that everyone can feel he is in the front row. Oh, no account of a deceased brother Edward is to be at the funeral. There's some uh, drama going on there, I guess. There's no such thing as ghosts. There's no such thing as ghosts. Trying to get I'm trying to get this guy's reserves, but you have to double click on these to track them. I keep forgetting that. Mm. 
Is that him? No. Who's that? You're not Regina. And you're not my son-in-law. And he isn't the stones to have me drowned in a cask of Momsy. <laughs> so you're a burglar. Uh, I'm from this city. We're, uh, tracking a problem in the motorline pipes. You're a rotten liar. <laughs> the city stopped taking care of the pipes years ago. I noticed you're not screaming for help, though, sir. Have you met my daughter? <laughs> Frankly, I'd rather give my stuff to a burglar. <laughs> they don't tell you how rotten they can turn out. I train grown men to make their beds. And run into machine guns. The kids will break your heart every goddamn day. Thanks for the warning, sir. Does your father know what sort of lad you are? I'm afraid he may have suspected, sir. So you've got regrets. <laughs> Good. Kids downstairs, any time they start to regret, they pop a joy. Look, take whatever you want. But my brother Edward, haven't seen much of each other these past few years. I'd appreciate it if you'd go tell him I'm... I'm sorry. You'll know what it means. He's on Monmouth Road, number 22. <sighs> Used to be the most wonderful cheese shop on the corner. I'll be sure to pass along the message, sir. Here he is, living his own filth. I'm just saying, maybe we should recruit. What are you doing with, like, screws beside your food? I can't search his footlocker? Why not? He said I could. How frustrating. Leave that alone, would you? Who are you? My eyesight isn't that bad. We've got better things to do. can hide in a potted plant. It's like a birthday party in there. Okay, so he's just down the street there. I wonder if my parents would be proud of me, or would they be terribly stern? You're a downer, lost his job, on the run. I'm sure they'd be thrilled. Hello? Hello? Captain Lawrence? I've got a message for you, sir. The power's out, which means the house is basically unsecured. He disconnected his water, but isn't that stuff like free in this? Orwellian. Honey and grapefruit juice.
Dear Uncle Edward, not that you care, but Papa is dead. Well, dying anyway. The casket has already arrived through the Antragnus. It was dear it ought to have been. No one listens to me. You should not expect anything in Papa's will. You know why. I am not writing to ensure you won't have the audacity to come to his funeral, as the family still cannot forgive you for your cruel theft of his beloved dog, your niece Regina. That's not a good sight. Blimey. My dear Thomas, can we not forgive and forget now that we're both in our twilight? It was half a century ago that we bought Bonnie Prince Charlie across from the channel from the horrible trenches of France. I know you loved him as I did, but that was always wrong to steal him from your garden and keep him from you all these years. What you perhaps do not know is that I love Sarah. Yes, you are Sarah. Did she ever tell you that I had proposed? Never spoke of it again, but when she preferred you to me, I went out of my mind with jealousy and grief. I suppose part of me wanted to make you hurt as I did, though looking black. I think I stole Charlie because I needed someone in my life to love. You've had a large loving family all of these years. All I had was Bonnie and Prince Charlie for his few remaining years. I've done nothing but loneliness and longing since. Can you not see in your heart to forgive your poor brother in your final days? Knowing that you had so much love and family in your own life, your brother Edward. P.S. I hope I have the courage to send this. A dog. They were fighting over a dog. What's he got here? A repair kit. I'll definitely take that. Jerky. Oh, a dig spot. Always nice. Those are tranquilizer darts. Electric truncheon. what I have now, but this one has a full bar of health, so I'll hold on to that instead. Early bird? Sleep gives you slightly more health. We're all set. Charcoal big splinter. Oh, come on, you pack rat. You can't take all this with you. Empty pill bottle. Do we actually need these for anything? Some of that. Downer breach.
stop cracking your damn knuckles. What I do last time uh, back here. Your brother. I'm afraid I'll, I've been to his house. So I was too late. How? An accident. With a bookcase. Ah, oh, shit. Shit. What's the use? I meant to talk to him sooner. I wrote him so many letters. Maybe I should have sent them. No, oh, sir. Thank you, sir. I, uh... I don't suppose you found a footlocker there. A footlocker? No. I left a footlocker in his house. I'd rather you have it. That's very kind of you. Uh, where is it? Regret. It's what makes us human, son. Don't forget that. No, sir. Thank you, sir. Someone there. Military jacket. Rifle. Inventory expansion. Antiseptic. Well, I think it's my fit, actually. I need the trousers. Where did you go? What did I take that for? What part of quest is that one? Just love this running back and forth. Okay, there's supposed to be a footlocker somewhere around here. Reminder was added to our journal. Up high or was it down low? No combination of water. Is it in the waste bin, I wonder? Well, if you're not a bloody mule, pick what you can carry easily. 
I seem to recall I picked up one of those uh, inventory expansion deals. doesn't apply it automatically, does it? I think you actually have to use it. There it is. Beautiful. Why does he have the Tsar of Russia? Thanks of a grateful nation. Okay, that's his front door. This house has an attic. How would you get into it? Attic, you say? Can't take his medals? It's up there. How do you do? You gonna climb up the chimney or what? I wonder if there's some sort of secret door. But how do you trigger it? That is a very good question. Another sliding bookcase, I bet. Not that bookcase. That's not the one I'm talking about. Apple Flash. Aha. Ah. I will take your salt, Peter, yes. Maybe I'll shoot. Ow. Or so. Uh, hello? Anyone out there? This is Central. Watch your report, over. Uh, who is this? This is Central. Who's this? Are you the victim? N no, no, well, uh, I suppose I, I sort of am, a bit. Y yes, I I'm definitely with the resistance. Are you the new recruit? 
Yeah, yeah, I, uh, uh, not that long ago. Feels like a while, though. Uh, they call me Striker. Are you ready for a mission? Where are you? We need you to rescue Peachy Carnahan. He was captured trying to infiltrate the secret lair of the evil Dr. Belloc. Oh, God. It's that loony in the treehouse. I'm talking to Johnny Bolton, aren't I? This is the special operations executive. The lad with all the dolls? If you're not in the resistance, just get off this channel. <laughs> <sighs> so much for the resistance. Resistance is futile. What we got here? Here's a gas mask, bigger banger. Lock shocker, sovereign. Military pants. We're all set, wow. Now I can join the army as an officer, no less. Jolly good. That's all we got here. What's my uh, status like, I wonder? I still got a bit of fatigue left. While I'm here, I should um, lighten my load. Aha, there is a Bolshevik bringing on thrilling, but it's taking time from your duties, requiring even more overtime to make quota. Scargo quality control. Tell me your gas masks are quite sufficient. There is. There is therefore no danger in using them for longer shifts. Let me get back to work unless you malingering reds want to experience doing any further banging on at home. Just gonna take these. We're going to put them in our uh, stash anyway. So... gas mask sugar and flour
We'll just keep one of those around. Yam. I am what I am. Ah, uh, what else we got? Rotting meat. Uh, probably don't need that many. They get mad at you if you wear a sergeant's shirt? What? I mean, I'll just have a nap here. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. I had a bunch of metal bits, didn't I? I was supposed to get rid of. Yeah, look at all those. Wow. Banger, bangers and mash. Yeah, those things are worth their weight in gold, aren't they? I can't tell if that's a strip club or a butcher shop. Ah, the old purple smoke. since Harry Hayworth gave that big tour a few years ago. Sorry, sir. There has been a slight <laughs> hiccup in the disposition of the lab, and it is currently in isolation. No one in, no one out. Please come back later. Uh, but but uh, I'm, uh, I'm a reporter. I'm supposed to interview Dr. Verloc. Oh, well, I hope he hasn't forgotten. Oh, a journalist, eh? <laughs> Have you got your press pass? Well, I, uh, sure do. Left it at the office. Well, then, <laughs> you'd best go back and get it, haven't you? So a press pass gets me in. Amazing what people will do to get in the newspaper. Maybe I can go talk to Mrs. Oliphant at the Au Courant, see if she's got a spare press pass. 
start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. Gotta be a part of that New York, New York. Day for it. Don't you just love the smell of mausoleum? It's so my old office. <laughs> that was fun being a reporter. Receptionist is out for coffee. Typical. Where am I supposed to get upstairs then? So he's a reporter, but all he did was like censor shit. Some top notch graphics there. Newspaper employee card. He'll probably spaz out at me if I try to take that one. Eagle eyed wellies may have noticed that some of Uncle Jack's shows have been repeats recently. There's no cause for concern. Uncle Jack merely has a light cold. He assures his viewers he is taking plenty of jolly and hot soup. Should we be soon right as rain? He's not on vacation. Liver delight. Garden Club presents Camilla Tingle as best of her lovely garden. She was always fond of foxglove, but stopped growing them years ago. After a neighbor, the late Mrs. Boyle of Bloods Home, accidentally used foxglove to season a soup. However, Miss Tingle has discovered that many other flowers can be safely included in recipes. Lily bulbs taste like onions. We fry them up with V meat for. Sunday supper, delicious. For a full feast, try recipe. Three lily bulbs, one pound of meat, and a butter or any fat. Stir in a pan until brown. Do not drain the fat. I'll uh, have to try that out myself. I have a sneaking suspicion that they want some coffee. Be blast of crap whiskey, time to make other hot feathers. Hmm. I bet if I got the coffee machine working, they'd all head off to the kitchen for a nice cup of joe. Gemma Olson. Missing. Has anyone seen a reporter of the year last seen preening at her desk? May possibly be resting on laurels. If seen, please notify O. Courant. Pardon me, pardon me. Do you, do you think someone could let me upstairs? You won't stop pestering me. I'll murder someone. I swear I will. She needs to take her joy. It sounds like. Uh, excuse me. The, the door upstairs is locked. Not now. I'm running just to keep up. Yoink. What does this say? Scargill miners feeling festive. Last week, many citizens in the vicinity of the village's main modeling facility heard what seemed at first to be a loud explosion. No need to worry. It seems that those jolly miners could not wait for annual Victory Day celebration to set off fireworks. The company apologizes for any alarm the noise may have caused. I'm going to call Bull on that. Let's see if I can get Mrs. Oliphant to give me my old job back and my old press pass. Is 
Close. Typo of the month. Learn which words end in Ibol versus Abel. If you're not sure, look them up. It's an unacceptable error. Everyone, please congratulate John on his promotion to assistant, to deputy copy chief, to assistant, deputy copy chief. Okay. Copy editors, please note that if a reporter is written Joe's wife, Clara, you must fact check whether Clara is Joe's only wife. If she is, there should be a comma between the words wife and Clara. If she is a second wife, however, you should, you should use the comma. I find it hard to believe that professionals do not already know this. Jane, underneath some is written Bass Hackwords. The British were real snobs for grammar, I guess. place hasn't changed at all, has it? Where did you go? When you disappeared for two weeks? Did you ever remember? I must have had too lovely a time. <laughs> I was hoping you could use a reporter. I'm afraid I've got a half dozen of them. Bloody useless, the lot of them. I've got six pieces on my desk, all about the new flavour of joy. Can you imagine? It's coconut. Didn't Dr. Vlock make that announcement some time ago? Gemma wanted to do a piece on him. I hope she hasn't fallen in a hole or somewhere. I haven't seen her in days. Bloody frustrating, too. There's all sorts of silly rumours about the tunnels under Wellington Wells. Gas leaks, water main breaks, maintenance workers at the pub instead of their post. If that were all true, Wellington Wells would be about to fall apart. I asked her to do a story about it. Oh, well, um, I'm sure she'll turn up and everything will be peachy. I'm sure it will. Lovely to see you, Arthur. Drop by any time, really. Gemma was always digging up interesting stuff, from what I remember. Maybe I should poke around her desk. Just like that, after being chased out by a murderous mob, I get my job back. Strange meat? Sounds good to me. Yeah, let's go this way. That makes sense. Why not? Total uh, die herd rerun here. I should drop in on Gemma at home. If she's really vanished, then maybe I can get my old job back. I think it would be fun to have a piece about artistic hobbies of workers underground, you know, the tunnel rats and such, showing there was some sort of art show. Have a look, would you? 
On a side note, I heard a chap in Boiler Suit say they've been having Montaline leaks down there. Those are just winging, right? Still waiting for that piece about tunnel rats. I know you what you're like when you're excited. Did you find something interesting underground? Carry not deep secrets from headmistress. Yeah, they got her, didn't they? Done in there. Oh, okay, I see. I looked at the map wrong. I feel stupid now. I gotta say, I thought the uh, Evil Within 2 was way better. It was a triple-A game, I guess. It didn't have as many uh, technical problems as this one did. That's the British, though. British games are more cerebral. American games are more uh, action-oriented. That's coming from Gemma's house. That's a bit awkward. Getting in that way. Just there to read the meter. That was rude. I guess someone noticed she's not been around and decided to rob the place. How horrid of them. Kill the alarm. Why aren't the police coming? Cipher book. If I'm too dangerous to commit things to writing, I will henceforth put all my correspondence and code you. Okay. By all that is holy, if I find one toy train in your swag bag, I'm gonna knock your last tooth down your throat. Good o, turn that fucking thing off and come back down here right now. The alarm's upstairs. I'm gonna have to get past Mr. Shelter here. Hell, bloody hell! Who the fuck are you? I live here. Love what you've done with the place. <laughs> What was that? Porter's notebook. Ah, sunshine. Ask an engine relock and invented sunshine for himself. Why? How can he be clear headed and not haunted by the past? Any of any human feelings? Sunshine. Rumored not to be contraceptive like joy. What happens if someone has a baby? Oh god, too awful. Plague. Toxic waste dumped to water, cured by fog. No brakes correlate to wind direction. Can Joy Factory permanent solution? Verlock's plan so secret even Estes know what it is. Irreversible mass lobotomy? Find a way in Halver's labs undercover. Pose as a patient of Verlock's new studies. Okay. 
Minani need correction. Please be our guest at Reform Club. Another shocking good time. Patient Knights 1. How redeemable on Master Knights. Where am I going? How am I? There's some bleach in case we get thirsty. Taking her. Why did they take her? She sounds quite sane. Did she know too much? About what? Well, he's about town. Bolton is known as a rather serious chap who ran the scriptology intelligence division during the unpleasantness with Germans. When even Bolton manages to unwind, he finds advanced mathematics especially relaxing. His hobby is trying to prove Fermat's last theorem. I've always had a knack for seeing patterns others can't see, Bolton says. In his spare time, he always enjoys cinema and detective stories. Personalized care. Bolton, uh, yeah. Thank you for your recent letter. The symptoms you described, anxiety, guilt, hunger, all signs of joy withdrawal. I assure you that your troubles are all in your head, even though they may feel real to you. A modest increase in your joy dosage should do the trick. In special cases, may receive personalized care at Haworth Labs. Any doctor can arrange your passage to our facility. Yours most sincerely, Averlock. But do they ever come back? Intimidator. Last NBC in combat had a small chance to leave their items and run away. Gemma, I would never have pictured it. I'm not sure I actually want to, come to think of it. She was kinky. Should we just take everything? I don't think Dr. V would like that. The constabulary might notice. I don't see anything talking about Dr. V here. Where's her study? I thought vampires had to be invited in. Downer! 
That ought to buy me some time. Open up in there! Did you think I wouldn't know you were here? Howard Labs, top secret. Thank you for your recent letter. No, no, no. Darling, you said I don't suppose you have a better idea. Here is my idea. Let me ask the witches. I know, I know, they're superstitious idiots, but they're always talking about psychoactive herbs, and they actually have rather clever women when my mom had them over. And they know about every weed and stingy hallucinogenic frog from all the homes. And I've been racking my brain about inventory problem. I don't think we're going to find any more caches of old German goodies. I had in Gemma's handwriting. 1961, I think. Sally Boyle's handwriting. Presumably to Dr. V. Memo 2. Beloved, please don't be cross. Just because they don't have university degrees in science doesn't mean they don't know any science. We've got to stop underestimating people who don't think the way you do. Are you sure you're not thinking about this emotionally? And I know that you hate that. St. John's wort does contain a serotonin reuptake inhibitor, and it does make sad people less grumpy, for example. We could advertise new compound as different flavor of joy, strawberry, say. That sounds jolly if people take new flavors and our supplies could last for a few years longer, possibly until 1964. By then, maybe the monkey will learn to talk. Just go ponder, please, for your Sally. Sally again. No, I don't think that you took credit for strawberry. I don't think care who gets credit so long as people are happy, and I certainly was not trying to impress the general. I'm only worried that you promised a permanent solution, of course know far more about biochemistry than I do. I've never heard of a drug that permanently alters brain chemistry. Is that even possible? Is there a mechanism? Can you chemically burn out all the sad receptors in the brain? The only permanent solutions I know involve electroshock or surgery. And then we're back to phrenology. I think I read a little better than you do, darling. The general's all very affable, but we've promised him results, and we know what happened to the last guy who didn't deliver on results to you. Please tell me what's on your mind, would you, Sal? She got here. She has some enhanced rocks in her safe. Toxic fog. Gasly's Paris to maintenance human error. Electrocutions. Two employees haven't gone topside behaving erratically. Our projects. Come out! We're friends of Gemma! Well, look at that. You've been a busy girl, haven't you, Gemma? She needs our help. Well, I think I've found everything. Doesn't look like she found all the answers yet. If I read it top to bottom, then right to left. If I finish Gemma's investigation... Mrs. Oliphant would have to give me back my old job, and then I'd have a press pass. Oh. Some GTFO. So better go see what's going on on this motilene regulation unit. Maybe the answer's there.
see what this dig site up here is all about. What a prize. Do your patriotic duty to your fellow citizen of Wellington Wells. Well, I guess we're up to, wow, over uh, hour 47 now, so I'll tell you what. It's been another fun stream. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you have a great week. See you later.